of balance in our day-to-day -day lives is difficult. There's so much to think about and so much to do. Whether we're just taking care of ourselves or a family, it's easy to neglect some of our most basic needs, like making sure we're eating food that's not only healthy and nutritious, but will give us the energy to get through our busy day. Research undertaken by the Flower Advisory Bureau has worryingly revealed that busy mums and working women are taking this one step further by regularly sacrificing mealtimes altogether, with 46% saying they skip meals due to lack of time or putting other people's needs before their own. So I'm going to show you some simple solutions for quick, easy meals and snacks that are healthy, nutritious and won't cost a fortune. So let's start by looking at packed lunches. It's very easy to get stuck into a rut with packed lunches, preparing the same lunch day in, day out. And obviously that gets boring. So it's time to spice up your lunchbox and think about some new fillings for your sandwiches. I'm going to start by making a very basic chicken sandwich. Now I've got sliced white bread here. Um, some of you might be surprised to find me using sliced white. I think there is a perception that white bread is, is unhealthy. In fact, white bread, like all other breads, provides important vitamins and minerals, things like calcium. It also contains fibre. So if you or your children prefer white bread, there's absolutely no reason to feel guilty about eating it. So I'm going to start by spreading the bread with some polyunsaturated margarine or what I like to use is a little bit of mayonnaise. Obviously if you're preparing the sandwich for yourself and you're watching your weight use a reduced fat mayonnaise. If you're making it for a child I would recommend using the, the, the full fat mayo because they need the calories, they need the energy. Spread it very thinly and then you can add to that either some chicken that you have left over from um, a chicken that you may have cooked earlier in the week or some ready prepared chicken. So a couple of slices of chicken and then into that I'm going to add some sliced pepper, either red or green pepper and a couple of slices of celery. This will give the sandwich a nice, a nice crunch and obviously it contributes to your five a day as well. Okay, there you are. If you wanted some more ideas using chicken and you like spicy food or your children like spicy food, you could mix the chicken with some tomato salsa or another idea is to perhaps mix the chicken with some Caesar salad dressing and then you could add something like some dried apricots. Now, as well as varying your sandwich fillings, um, Try and think about varying the type of bread that you use. There are over 200 different varieties of bread, so there's plenty of choice. You know, you can see here we have bread rolls, wholemeal, multigrain bread, or even some of the continental breads like focaccia or ciabatta. Pita bread and wraps work very well in lunch boxes. Now, a couple more ideas for you. Firstly, a great idea for a quick breakfast or even a quick snack. Now, if you take some multigrain bread, toast it, and then top it with a little bit of ricotta cheese that you've sweetened with either some honey or a little bit of sugar, and then you could top that with some sliced strawberries or some apple. Another idea for a topping for breakfast would be to toast some bread, spread it with some peanut butter, and then top that with a mashed banana. So I've given you some ideas for toppings for toast, for breakfast or for snacks, for fillings for lunch boxes. But of course you can also use bread in your evening meal, either as a, a, a topping for a gratin or in recipes like fruity chicken kebabs, asparagus tarts, crispy salmon triangles on the website which is fabflower.co.uk. So there you have it, some simple, very tasty and very healthy ideas to help you get a balance by making perfect use of the nation's favourite staple, bread.